Welcome to the show. Rudy's here. Why is Shitty Pizza International? <laughs> it's here. We're one week away from the start of the season, guys. Three dias away. Um, oh, yeah. Less than one week. Uh, Time has no meaning. Nick is on assignment. He was working. There is in parts are being beautiful together somewhere. Um, all right, we're gonna start talking about the fire's very lackluster off season and our thoughts and our excitement levels going into the season. Gomez, it's going? more like it's more like thoughts and prayers with the fucking fire to start the season. <laughs> We have no depth. We have nothing. Um, yeah, and then Johnny Campbell decides to get his fucking face broken. Broke so. his fucking face. So, um, yeah, unless Katai decides to be a fucking savior all of a sudden without us knowing it. Um, yeah, we were a little thin on the defense. We're pretty thin on the midfield, and we're pretty thin up top. Yeah, I don't agree with you on the defensive side other than goalkeeper. I think our defense is actually a, is one of the best defenses in the East outside. Of do we have State. depth? No, no. Do we have depth? Yeah, sure That's what do. I'm talking about. Oh. We have the same depth as every other team does, which is not much. <laughs> well, that doesn't reassure me, especially I with just, not having much up top. We have a, we have a backup right back this year, which is good, right? Yeah. We, we left back of left back still an issue, but that's an issue everywhere. Um, and... You know, I thought we had a giant kid to be the fourth center back, and now he's the third center back, which was going to happen anyways because Jonathan Campbell cannot pass. So I'm not, I'm way less concerned about the back outside of Sanchez and Cleveland and not actually having a third goalkeeper still. The goalkeeper is a given at this point that we, we should worry about, you know, uh, yeah. I don't know. it's, it's, we don't have a third keeper either, by the way, with Cleveland and um, yeah, we don't, so, have a, we don't have a number one. Uh, we barely have a number two. We, barely, we have a number two. We have a two and a three. We just lack actual like. I can't. I can't believe we're walking into the season with two goalkeepers. <laughs> the two as a one and the three as a two. Hey, look at that. Yep. Yep. Christ Almighty! I think I do think defensively we're going to be good. I I don't because especially because Dax and you know Basti sitting in front of those guys is going to be good. It's it's a good defensive I, setup. I still worry about the lack of experience in the back, which is the troubling part. With it's literally the same back line as last no, year. No, 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 no. Oh, God, let me finish. God damn it! Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I Chris, promised myself I was going to yeah. let the show breathe this week. Christian Dean, obviously, just with this lack of uh, fitness. So some big situations he's not very well aware of, but he's our starter and I expect him to do okay with, with cap on the side. But once you start getting to the Grant Lillards, that's when we're, um, that's when, when I start to worry because if they start going at him, we might be a little fucked if he has to play, if he has to play. So it's, it's an unproven commodity and it's, Extra nerves and all that good stuff. So, I mean, at least yay. it's a kid. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We somebody from the academy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I when you talk about Dean, you mean you mean his injury history? Yes, that's well. That hasn't allowed him to be in those. Oh, big I know, but it's well. a lack of fitness, which is generally well, speaking, sorry. something else. Sorry, yes, his injury. I was wondering if you knew something I didn't know. Yes. No, 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 no. Not implying anything, not saying anything. All right, all right. Just his injury proneness. His ability to gain more injuries, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, Ellen? Yes? Do you have, do you have thoughts? Uh, do we... I mean, we don't... We don't have a full team yet. Like, no. we play no, we a game... On Saturday, we don't play a real game for ten days. I mean, not a real game, but like a game. We play a real game in like ten days. Yeah. 
that's just are we gonna like fucking poop out a goalie in the next 10 days weirder things have happened i mean it's possible I, i don't i don't really know like i just i feel i keep getting caught out and thinking the season is not starting for a long time because I don't feel like we have a fucking team. I'm like, surely, surely if the season is starting in like a handful of days, uh, we would have signed more players by now. Surely the season can't be starting. And yet here we are uh, fielding a back line that is string and use chewing gum oh, the back line is fine the back line is Sorry. fine there's not the back, the line, back is line, line is fine i don't want to I, I will not take any insults you don't insult the goalkeepers that's fine the attacking midfield what absolutely 100 pause 100 percent exactly what goalkeeper the goalkeeper there's two of them <laughs> there's 1.5 don't insult stefan like that come on He's a child. Let him let him at least try to be a full adult for once. I'm sure Jeez. he's trying his best, but he's a child. When are we getting Zach McMath? <laughs> or Casillas? We'll also accept Casillas um, as a second to Zach McMath. Zach McMath is currently playing right now for the Colorado Rapids in CONCACAF Champions League, so uh, I don't think he's on the way. Just, uh, just uh, I don't think it's happening. Our pipe it's dreams. Like you're going to win the CONCACAF Champions League. It's the fucking Colorado Rapids. No, they should get knocked out in about two minutes. Cool. So they'll be eliminated shortly. You know, it's a problem. We got problems. I'm more, this is what I'm concerned with. I am not concerned with the defense. I'm concerned with the goalkeeping. Although that is, generally speaking, easier to solve. I'd be concerned with our striking, except uh, I'm just so used to being disappointed on that front. Um, I'm worried about the support for Nico in uh, all three attacking midfield positions. Um, I realize right now you're looking at uh, Katai, who I, I don't know shit about him. He's been here for like a day. So he just got to camp today, yesterday. I, I, um, I don't know, but he's definitely confirmed dad hot. Good. Apparently, Dax said he's been training for four days with them, four or five days. Okay. So, uh, and they think that he's got a soccer mind. And according to Dax, he's pretty decent if he can play in La Liga. So, well, I should fucking hope he has a soccer mind. It's his profession. <laughs> <laughs> he is a professional soccer player. Yeah. It's a good answer, Dax. I, I appreciate the professional soccer player answer of he has a soccer player mind. It's good. It's a good answer. I would um, hope so. I'm worried about those positions. Like, that's what I'm concerned about um, is Katai, Lucho, who I did not want starting. I wanted him on the bench. And then whomever starts with them. I, Daniel Johnson? I don't know. I <laughs> Bacaro, you gonna start the kid? I don't know. I mean, he's clearly Bacaro and Adams are clearly gonna be in the eighteen at this point. Um, I'm more concerned about the the attacking midfield depth and where the creative f- force is gonna come, so Nico can get shots on frame. If you can get Nico shots on frame, he'll score. But who's gonna get him the ball? Unless we have some sort of weird Schweinsteiger's going to play the 10 shit position, which would, which would be hilarious. I want to see that, by the way. I want him in the 10 shit. I want him, him to change his number, too, to put on the number 10. If he could do that for me, that'd be great. <sighs> so that my concern is with scoring goals and uh, rookie goalkeeper mistakes. That's where my concern is. We might be able to boringly possess the ball for 60 minutes a game, though. Or the other team to death. Great. Yeah. Choke them to death with boredom. It is a it is a proven soccer tactic. Especially on MLS. Uh, not just an MLS, baby. Well, I know. Leagues, yeah, many, leagues, many leagues deploy the choke them to death 
many teams have done it successfully. I uh, am firmly behind it as a tactical strategy. And I know Nick would just get his jellies off of that. Nick and I are, yeah, we we enjoy good defensive choking. <laughs> uh, as long as you have a good defensive safe word, you know, you can live your life. <laughs> your uh, facial reaction was was on point to that too, by the way. <laughs> you may have not noticed, but we noticed, or at least I did. Uh, <laughs> um. So that's where my concerns are. Well, that no one can see my face with this uh, with this garbage off season, this unacceptable garbage off season. I think we also need to talk about how Nelson Rodriguez has completely failed. This is not. This is this was, year three is the year he advertised as the year we're shooting for. This was the year that he needs to deliver hardware, according to him. He ain't <laughs> delivering shit this year. I feel, I feel about Nelson Rodriguez's off season is like you know when you and like you hit midterms and you were like okay holy shit that was hard that was Nelson Rodriguez's last year and then finals have snuck up on him and he's not prepared and he's just like shit 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 I have to study an entire semester's worth of material in two nights. Or in his case, I have to put together a hardware winning team in 10 days. Um, I haven't been in college for like 20 years. Can you modernize this for me? Uh, you know when you have a project due at work and you kind of put it off and then all of a sudden it's due and you're trying to cram all this work into like like 10 hours of work into like four hours? Mm, no. I mean, I'm sure you don't because you're a responsible adult and you don't do those sorts of things. Mm, yeah, no. Yeah. I, Sorry, Y'all need to procrastinate more. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Someone out there in our listenership will understand my metaphors and uh, be no, like, "Oh yeah, it. no, I, I know that feel. I know I get that." It. Everybody gets that. I'm just, I'm just making jokes for the olds who listen to the show. Okay. Just shout out to to my people. Um, <sighs> yeah, it's not been good. It was really frustrating. Uh, this okay. It's not even that I'm like I'm annoyed and mad that he hasn't really gotten anybody. I'm annoyed that I haven't had anything to fucking speculate about for the off season. It's like my favorite thing to do is randomly talk fire and speculate on a bunch of bullshit. That's literally not been there. It's annoying. He's, he's taken that from me, and I'm not happy with it. And more importantly, he's not telling people what they're trying to do, if they're still trying to do anything, or if they're going to wave the white flag and just be like, yeah, guess what, guys? We're the 2016 Colorado Rapids mixed with a little FC Dallas from last year. Enjoy. It's okay. <laughs> it's we're not, moving to St. Louis next year. It's not which part, at all. Which part of the FC Dallas? The imploding or the actually decent said, soccer one? I said last year, so the imploding. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, they started off good. Let's not forget they started off good like the first three weeks or so. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm convinced we're going to have a good start. So, Okay, then you are on point anyway. Uh, can we also touch up on one small topic? Mr. Alan Gordon. Oh Christ! Uh, I totally, I, I totally forgot about that. This really, I don't. This is really gonna hurt me. I don't want to talk about this, Rudy. Okay, then let's. No, talk. I mean we should, we should talk about it. No, but I'm just, no, we're gonna talk about that. I'm okay. just saying, I don't want to talk my, about it. My whole point that I will bring up, and I've, I had this discussion with you, with both of you actually, at some point in the last two weekends. Mm-hmm. If you're committed to this values-driven club, congrats. You've just annihilated that whole concept by bringing in Alan Gordon. If you're going to bring in a shitbag unta- past this prime person, there's plenty of people more you could bring up to have a better, that have a better fucking persona and characteristics and everything. So fuck your values and uh, yeah. Don't talk any about values driven bullshit anymore if you're gonna do this bullshit. Yeah, I uh posed this question on Twitter. Like, if we sign him, uh 
is he going to be in the starting 11 on uh, our pride night game or, or not? Like, is he going to be rolling out there with his fucking like rainbow laces? Like what the shit? What the fuck? People are like, Oh, well, you know, you know, he just said it in the heat of the moment. I'm like, one, he's a garbage player. He's old as fuck. He was never very good. He belongs in fucking San Jose, which is a garbage organization. Uh, and two, you don't say shit in the heat of the moment that you don't also say in your everyday life. Like, full stop. Yeah. What you say in the heat of the moment is indicative of who you are inside, deep down, close to your heart. Yeah. So, like, fuck you. I mean, Get fucked. I don't care if you learned an important lesson. I don't care if you're sorry. Actions have fucking consequences. And you're, the consequence is everyone knows you're a shitbag and nobody wants you to play for their team. Nobody's uh, going to buy your fucking jersey. Nobody's going to make you a fucking two-pole. Nobody's going to cheer when you walk on the field. Eat shit and die. Um, he His original apology in that time frame was garbage, if you remember correctly. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I, as a human being, he may have grown and all that shit, but I, as a fucking soccer fan, don't have to acknowledge that or deal with that. That's not my problem. Like you fucked up and you fucked up in a bad way and you got one shot to clear it up and your apology was shit. And I don't give a shit if you've improved, you haven't really come out publicly and tried to clear your name or like be better, be a better person. It's just, you're still humping for paychecks at 36 years old. And one time you were a fine contributor to title winning teams. I don't want you at 36. I don't want you because you're because of the, the actions that you've had. More importantly, we shouldn't be signing 36-year-old backup strikers that also probably are homophobes. Well, well I don't understand what the fuck the problem is right? with this. Why is he even in camp? What the fuck? Like, I, I mean, like this is not a, this is not striker, important. His whole job is touching balls. You're not going to be able to do it with fucking Alan Gordon. <laughs> I just like I'm. I, it's just I cannot believe that this is like okay we haven't signed fucking anybody oh by the way everybody Alan Gordon's in camp oh yeah we might sign him I mean let's hope they don't it's scraping it's not even scraping the bottom of the barrel it's, it's pretty down there fucking going to the cement underneath the barrel and scraping that aye, 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 aye. that's how low it is he is still in camp so there's that. Like I said, there's plenty of other garbage players you can fucking pick up that could be depth. Yeah, that aren't that also aren't 36 years old. Exactly. Hey, if you're gonna fucking do this, fucking keep Joey Calistri. Fucking keep him on the yes. bench. Fuck. Yes. You had a chance and then you go and you fuck it up and you fucking release him. Now you have nobody on your fucking bench that can that can replace fucking uh what's his nuts? Uh Nico. I mean, fuck off. 36 year old piece of shit yeah. no thank you no thank you um so yeah that's how bad of an off season it's been it somehow got worse when alan gordon got into camp i mean jesus i thought it was bad then and then it just got worse well i mean i don't think any of us are feeling too good about this year going in right now i mean i'm not yeah no i i can't like, I want so badly to dig up some sort of optimism, but I've not been given anything to be optimistic about. Like, like yeah, we've still got Nico. That's great. Yeah, we've got Bosti again. Like, cool. But uh, I've got fucking nothing else. You, you have given me nothing. I think mean, time might be pretty good. It's just we don't I know. might be good. We don't know, so I'm. I know it's fine. I'm. 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 I'm hopeful for the kid. You know, I'm not gonna what? write him off. But like, you're not the, the the problem with Nelson this year is now you're not communicating with your fan base. You're not telling your fan base what you're trying to do, and you can speak to that in a better way than he does. And now you're also president of the club, and you're still not communicating to your fan base, and none of this is okay. And you have to figure this out and you have to be better about it. You've got to go, uh, we're going to bring in somebody like, or we're trying to sign it. We're going to have sign another goalkeeper. 
you know, before the window closes, which is May, right? This the, the first window is open until May. So they have until then to sign, you know, somebody from Europe or whatever, or wherever they come from. So he, he there's still there's still time to make moves, but he's not even really communicating that. He's dodging it. And he's, also, like, don't like how long are you gonna wait? Like, I don't know if you realize this, but we're in a of the two fucking conferences ours is far and away the more competitive we can't afford to fucking drop points in the beginning of the season we're two points behind a champions league place for next year this is like unforgivable in my mind to not be competing for that like what the fuck and if you want johnny come lately like, I don't want a fucking underdog. Oh, they had a crap start, but then they really picked it up. No, I want to start fucking strong and finish strong. I hope, nobody, wa- I hope nobody wanted Sammy Nasri. He's just got a six-month doping ban, so he's a name off the free agent list. <laughs> oh, no. He got a, Whatever he got a drip. we do without the... He got a drip treatment in L.A. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Uh, also, like... Next next time go to, go to okay. next time go to Jao's doctor. He knows how to do it. No, he doesn't because Jao right. got caught too, man. Come on. But he went to the other doctor then afterwards. Come yeah, on. Well, somebody, I'm talking somebody about knows the, how to not get caught. I'm talking about the Swedish doctors, man. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not feeling good. We will get to our fire predictions later. Where they're going to finish, playoffs or no playoffs. I think you can see where some of us might be leaning. But uh, shall we get into it? The conference preview. We're going to go bottom to the top. We're going to start with the Western Conference. Bum, bum, bum. Are you guys ready? Are you, are you ready for this? I'm ready to uh, spit I know all the, the I know all the teams. You that know. are in the Western Conference. Okay, okay. We're, we're well prepared. We're well prepared. I am prepared. I have a, I have a Google Doc ready for this. <laughs> Do you have a fucking spreadsheet for this? No, it's just a Google Doc. Greg, be honest. Right. You have a spreadsheet. No, it's not a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. Fucking not, nerd. Not a spreadsheet. Fucking nerd. I'm, I'm a prepared professional. Okay. 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 Wow us with your professionalism, right. Greg. Uh, I've got Nick's here as well because he is also a prepared professional. Uh, we'll start in with the West. Your twelfth place, your twelfth place side, Rudy. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Go, Ellen. How about that? Go, Ellen. It's not that hard. San Jose. Ellen says San Jose. San Jose. Okay. Ellen says San Jose. Nick says Colorado. Okay. Greg, me, I say San Jose. Yep. Rudy, San Jose. You go. <laughs> San Jose. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I picked San Jose. Because I think their manager is trash. He's a Swedish guy. Fuck him. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him. Shade at the Scandinavians. Sorry, bro. I I think it was the it's the wrong guy for the wrong team. All right. I feel like his uh, management style is about as sturdy as a fucking IKEA chair. Eleventh, <laughs> Ellen. LAFC, cause fuck him. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, I said Minnesota because the fat, sweaty man is gross. I don't <laughs> like him. And Nick said Minnesota. Also first, I'm sure, because Adrian Heath is actually a trash manager. Rudy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over the <laughs> the sweaty, fat man. It's going to be gross. Man. Yeah, no, he's gross. I don't like him. RSL. <sighs> Jeez. Wow. Yes. Sorry, Mike. I, I think you you would have you would have done well if you had re- gotten a couple more players and you know wow yeah wow it's it's not enough improvement for what 
for what that conference is, even though it's not the best one. Hey, look, this conference is wide open. You could pick anybody to win it, and I wouldn't be shocked. All right. But I don't ten- think it's NFL. 10th place, Ellen. 10th place, Colorado. Um, let's see here. Nick says San Jose. I say Seattle, as I think they're going to be trash with a capital T. Um, although they did sign a, a defender today from uh, from China, who's Japanese. Um, I don't like him. I'm sorry. The Sven Gorn Schmetzer is generally speaking a good manager, but there's this Jordan Morris injury and out for the year is problematic in many, many phases for them. Rudy. Seattle as well. And you've actually picked it for me as well because Jordan Morris is really going to fuck him over big time. Wow. I can't believe that. I, I thought that was controversial. Okay. No, not at all. Um, ninth, Ellen. Ninth, <clears throat> Houston. Wow. I just, of the two Texas teams, uh, Houston can eat a fart so oh, wow none of my predictions are based in any sort of like that's fact okay. or that's information fine. this is pure emotion didn't sarah pick philly union to win the win the league one year <laughs> yes yeah okay i miss i miss her on these because she's <laughs> just she's so good at i'm this. trying to bring as much uh corona <sighs> chaos as possible <laughs> all right ninth place nick predicts the galaxy which is a little low in my estimation. And ninth, I said Vancouver, because I don't like Carl Robinson. <laughs> the theme here. Rudy? Minnesota. Okay. Okay. They'll do better than last year, but not that much better. All right. Eighth. Salt Lake. I do agree that they haven't done well enough in the off season to improve. On the other hand, I saw them score like a thousand goals on LA last year. So they did. it was, that was it beautiful. That's why we were top of the table as well. It, oh God, it was so good yeah, for me. We had a good time. We had a I good don't, time. there was a, a great story that was lost to the lost episode that we recorded. The one I was on last season, uh, which I will tell someday. Yeah. You can save that one. Um, Eighth place, Nick says LAFC, the Bob Brad, the fighting Bob Bradleys of Los Angeles. Eighth. Um, I'm saying the Colorado Rapids in eighth place. Rudy? Houston. Houston's done okay in the offseason, just not enough to gel it. All right. Um, they need Kubo. I don't. I I think Colorado's going to be better than people think, but um, their New Zealand manager is is better than we think. But he's still new, a New Zealand manager. <laughs> this is this is first club team. I'm pretty sure. All right, seventh place, Ellen. Seventh place. Uh, ooh, this is tough. I'm gonna go with Vancouver. I think they're going to start strong or finish strong. But half of their season is going to be garbage. Okay. Um, I want one more thing I want to say about the Colorado's manager. He has studied at the feet of Bielsa. So they're <laughs> going to they're gonna do some fun shit. Like, I think he's going to be a very good manager. I don't want it to come off like I think he's crap, but he's got a rough, he's got a rough road to hoe. Colorado's in deep shit. Um, Nick is saying, also saying Vancouver in seventh. Probably for the exact same reasons. I am going with Portland. <laughs> I don't That's like natural that. though. That's natural. <laughs> I, I think Giovanni Savarese was not the correct choice as manager. So you think he's MPSL level? I'm just saying I'm just saying I think the, the, the curve for him here is higher than expected and i don't like what they did in the off season and i realize i am in a strong minority with this one but um i don't like it Rudy. seattle they're gonna barely miss the playoffs 
That's my boy. Fuck them forever. Of course. Aces, baby. All right. Here we go. Playoff positioning starts now. Ellen, sixth. <laughs> sixth. Seattle. Okay. Because I want them to have hope, but also fail. That's fair. Uh, Nick says F. Sorry. Dallas. And uh, I say Kansas City. Just because the Vermees is a, is a great coach. This is my definition of how you get in the playoffs in the West this year is who has the best coach. So Vermees being one of the best three coaches in the West will get his shitty Kansas City side into the playoffs. Rudy. Vancouver barely makes the playoffs. Oh, God. It makes me ill. <laughs> Carl Robinson getting any team into the playoffs is disgusting. Fifth, Ellen. Fifth. <clears throat> Sporting Casey. Okay. Don't know why. Just want to elaborate just on that? <laughs> Okay. Nick says Seattle. I assume he's very much into the Sven Gorn Schmetzer as a coach. Uh, I'm going with the fighting Bob Bradley's of Los Angeles in fifth and in the playoffs because Bob Bradley's the best coach in the league. Bar none. Nobody's better. He will find a way to get this team in. Right. FC Dallas. They'll they'll recover from from last year's implosion, but not quite fully. Okay. Fourth place, Ellen. LA Galaxy. Ah, uh, the Siggy. You like him? Hmm? You like him? You like him in the four spot? I like him in the four spot because uh, I think that's a, just a thing that they do generally unless they crash out horribly. Um, they did. They were terrible also, last year. They were fucking garbage. I'd like to see them hit that like fucking play-in game and then die because I just want everyone to know that feeling. That emotional devastation. Right. Uh, fourth place for Nick, Sporting KC. Fourth place for me, the LA Galaxy. I like what, yeah. Sig- yeah, I like like what Siggy's done. Yeah, I do. I like what Siggy's done there. And uh, Siggy Schmidt's a, a good coach. And he'll figure this out this year. Rudy? The LAFC. Ah, the fighting Bob Bradley's. Didn't you pick them? Fighting Bob Bradley's. No, I have not picked them yet. Okay, I thought you had your spreadsheet going there, Craig. <laughs> I'm not. Come on, your, come on, I'm not nerd. writing your picks down. That's what? Right. Then what the whole? What's we're, the point of the spreadsheet? We're recording them. Nick handles all the spreadsheets. I don't. <laughs> I don't handle the spreadsheets. <laughs> you don't trust me. Um. Oh, I also I, I want to one thing I say about the galaxy is I, I'm assuming some sort of Zlatan based bump for them at some point. So that's why I picked them fourth. I hope that happens. All right, third place. Here we go. Starting the top three. What do you got for me, Ellen? Who we got in three? Right on Portland yet? I, I don't know. Cool. You gotta <laughs> keep track of your own shit here. I, it's just that I confuse Portland and Seattle because they're just because they both fucking, wear green. Yes. Yeah, and they they're, both wear green and there's different shades the of answers. I'm pretty sure you didn't say Portland because I said I'm go I, Portland in third. Because right. uh, you're real, yeah. you're real high on them, hey. I just I think they're always a pretty solid team. Uh, I mean, 
there's worse people being third. There's better people being third, but it's the West, so everyone's going to be like a point away from each other. It could be very close. Um, Nick says Houston. Ah. That's my boy. And I say Real Salt Lake. The sweater vest. I'm getting it done. Now, I have all the teams remaining. My top three. I think any of these three teams could win the West. These are my favorites to win the West. RSL is very good. Sweater vest is excellent. Um, and I think uh, these teams are all are probably the best in the West because they return the most, the most players. And uh, that's where I'm headed with this thing. Remember, that doesn't always work out in MLS. I, I returning know it, your core. I know. I know it doesn't always work out. Well, I just trashed Seattle earlier in this <laughs> prediction process, and they return most of their garbage core. <laughs> Don't tell me Clint Dempsey's fucking garbage. Uh, he is now. Um, third place, the Galaxy. Okay. All right, Alan. Second place. Dallas. You wanna you wanna speak to that? Um. <laughs> well, I have uh, Gribbs is is a Dallas fan, and Gribbs is okay as a person. Um, I don't know. Who's so I'd like my dreams to happen for him, and I think that Dallas doesn't suck sometimes, but sucks sometimes. So like. They can be second. Is this like a major league friendship prediction based bullshit thing? Yes. Yes. I know Gribbs. Gribbs is good. Uh, I just wouldn't give him a second place for all right. it. Gribbs Nick, gave me edibles. Gribbs is an angel. All right. Nick said Portland, number two. You see, we, him and I wildly differ. I am going with the Houston Dynamo. I'm a big fan of this team. That was last year. They're bringing back all their good pieces. And uh, the, <laughs> the beef is an ageless wonder. Uh, you know why you laugh. They are bringing back all their good pieces. I'm sorry. Kubo was not what I would call a good piece after halfway through that season last year. Well, if you're not utilized right, of course, you're never a good oh, piece. Oh, whatever, dude. He's just not that good. He's fine. But he's just, <laughs> wait, he's just hey, not you- that good. He lit it up when it mattered, though. Where is he now? Cruz Azul. <laughs> yeah, what is he doing there? He's scoring, actually, with Cruz Azul. Uh, is he? Yeah. Cruz, Cruz Azul is La Machina's sucks, so. trash. It's They're trash very, this very year. Very, big trash. Oh, my uh, God. Can we move on to the number one pick? We are, but we're going to trash Cruz Azul friendship. for a second. It, we're, if you guys <laughs> talk about Major League Friendship, I get to trash Cruz Azul for a few minutes. Fine. Okay. And my second place for me is... Portland Timbers, by the way. You guys are gross. You're gross. That's okay. gross. I don't like that at all. You don't have Caleb Porter to bitch at anymore. I so, know. but I, you notice I seamlessly transitioned to Severis. <laughs> Seamless. Yes, I, I noticed that right away. Boom. All right. Your number one, Ellen. Your Minnesota United. Get <laughs> Go away. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, no, I have a reason for this, and it's a good reason. It's, it's a terrible Not reason. Because it's, it's, it's part of Southern it's Canada, too? Fuck off, one. <laughs> uh, two, uh, it's because I like Dark Horse favorites. And three, it's because Jess Mravka is a beautiful angel, and she deserves all the good things, and she's a Minnesota United fan. So. <sighs> okay. That's also, awful. like, just that would just be funny to if me. You get, if, you, if that is correct, one, the fat, sweaty man will be enshrined in some sort of Hall of Fame after this year because they're going to make a cheese sculpture from out of him at the <laughs> Minnesota State Fair. <laughs> Actually, it's Minnesota, so maybe like butter. Butter. They might fry it for him, like fried, yeah. some sort of fried confection. <laughs> fried uh, Oreos. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nick has Real Salt Lake winning the West. Christ almighty. Yep. Nick, uh, I love you. Love you. The sweater vest. Woo! Western Conference champion. Oh, that'd be beautiful. 
And I can firmly get behind that. I have F C Dallas. That's right. I'm doubling down on them from last year after they fucked me. Yep. FC Dallas. I like them. I think they've done good things in this offseason. They got rid of a bunch of crappy veterans. They're going back to the kids. Um, they have some really fun guys there. I just like this team. Uh, I think they fixed it. I like the coach. I think they have one of the better coaches in the Western Conference with the right guys. I'm very excited for this year for Dallas. This is also might be as questionable as saying Minnesota, though. I'm not sure. Well, uh, <laughs> I feel like, you know, you want to put dinner on it? Minnesota wins. Well, put it this way. I won, I rest- I won wrestling cards from Joey last year, and he has yet to pay up. So Yeah, but I'm not Joey. Minnesota <laughs> wins. You buy me a super nice dinner of my choosing. Oh, God. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Dallas gonna, wins. I'm not going to have to pay out. Fight. Neither one of us are going to have to pay out. That's yeah. a good bet. Never all know. right, Rudy. Never know. Number one. I got the biggest flapper of them all winning winning the West. The Vermees. The Vermees. That's, that's a good choice. <sighs> Slow and He's steady wins the race. Fucking flap his way all the way up that table. He's a Damn great right. coach. And he wears now he wears great suits. He's He's well dressed. He knows the fucking he game. He listens to our podcast. Um, his no years of way. years yeah. of critique of his suits finally he, set in. He's a big man who sweats right through his suits, and the suit still looks good. It's that's quite impressive because he's tall. He's like six three. He's huge. He eat people. I'm a big Peter. I've turned into a huge Peter Vermees fan after I we trashed him when he became head coach there and was like, I ain't going to last. And then what do you know? The mad flappers turned into a near fucking genius. All right. That's your Western conference right there. Oh, wait a second. I have, um, what else I got here? Uh, I got Ava. Ava chimed in her Western conference champion, the Portland Timbers, just a fucking, (laughs) fucking knife in me. All right, let's get to the easier to predict conference, the Eastern Conference. Bottom to the top. Ellen, get us started. Uh, the bottom of the East. Oh, boy. It's easy. Oh, boy. It's easy. Come on. This is easy. Is it easy? Yep. How easy is it? It's pretty easy. There's a couple choices. There's like two choices. Pick one of them. Fuck off. One. <laughs> you. New England. There you go. I said pick one of the two choices. <laughs> <laughs> There's two choices. Look, uh, your strength uh, is gone. Uh, your petty little bitches. Uh, and Lee Wynn deserves better. He does. Also, you're now coached by a fake Englishman. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Brad Friedel. Yep. You're fake, awful. He's like fake a Englishman. Fucking God. Christ. He's like those people who watch Sherlock and then uh, fake talk British on the internet. Yeah, you made that joke better on a previous podcast. Probably. I you know that. Yeah, you did. That was not well timed. Just fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Nick says New England because he's a sane person. And I'm saying Philadelphia Union. I hate them. I think they're trash. Rudy? See, I actually think it's between three teams, but I agree with you. Poor Jim Curtin didn't do shit. So Jim Curtin. It's not Jim Curtin's gets, fault. Well, it's Ernie Stewart's fault, to be clear. It's all the same in the dark. They're both going down with the ship. They're both going down with the ship. Yeah, they're both going to be bitten, hopefully. All right. So, yeah. Union. Tenth place, Ellen. The choice is obvious. (laughs) And she's not there, by the way. (sighs) God. What is happening? What is happening to this show? Who just gets up and leaves the show? 
in the middle of the show. <laughs> Ellen does. Who else? <laughs> She's gone. Or just see her window. <laughs> gone. Okay. Well, we'll throw it back to her when she gets back. What What does Nick say? Uh, Nick says New England. Again? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Nick says DC United. I say New England. <laughs> I said, "There's two choices." <laughs> no, I I agree with you as well, New England, because they won't have lead lead win anymore. And DC, got, no, he won't be there in a few weeks. At least I think. And, and all the tonic form, because please, please. Well, I would love I would love to see that happen. Um, and and DC actually got marginally better. Well, at least better to be better. Oh, huh. better enough not to be where New England and Philadelphia are going to be. Hey, look who's back. Uh, Ellen, you left the show. <laughs> you, you left the show and I threw it to you and you were gone. I fucking told you I was leaving. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear shit. Tenth place, Ellen. In your Eastern Conference. Girl Scout cookies? There's only a, there's only one obvious. There's two obvious two choices for tenth. Well, did we do eleventh? Yeah, we already yes. did. You, you, you took picked New, New England. England. Picked New England. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, it's been a long day. Fuck off, Red Bulls. Because fuck Red. No, <laughs> no. I take that back. No, no. Atlanta. Okay, now you're just you. You got high when you got up and left. Okay. All right, she says Atlanta. Well, they don't deserve nice things. They're brand new. They don't deserve them, but they're, they're still going to get them. They're good. There's I don't care. Un- they're unquestionably not going to be 10th. I don't care. They might be 10th. Okay. Maybe they all uh, get shingles. Okay, you are- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Shingles of all things to get. All right, well. Don't worry. Now we're to ninth place, Ellen, and we're also going to go back to you since you've hit first in the batting order. <laughs> ninth place. Girl Scout cookies. Ellen. <sighs> no, I can't say it. Montreal. Montreal is going to be in ninth. That's okay. Okay. Acceptable answer. That's an acceptable answer. Uh, ninth place. Nick says. Montreal, Montreal. Um, ninth place, I say Montreal. <laughs> Rudy, the DC, the DCU, the Black Eagle. I think they're going to be better than that, brother. Assad isn't going to make them that much better. Ben Olsen is a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You can't say that with the fucking straight face. The veins are popping out as hard as you're laughing, by the way. <laughs> it's true. God. Can confirm Greg has uh, veins popping out in his forehead. <laughs> Not sure if it's from laughter or his desire to drive to my house and kill me, but. Eighth Both. place, Ellen. Eighth place? Yep. You know, I'm not going to say it. Philly. What do you. What do you think I want you to say? You want, you want me to be negative about our own team. I don't know what you're talking about. You you're say smiling. Philly. You're smirking. You're you say, smirking. You're not even smiling. You're smirking. You said Philly. Okay. I eighth so. place. Nick for eighth place says the Philadelphia Union. Uh, eighth place for me, DC United. <laughs> <laughs> They're not first place this year, Greg. They were first place last year. I, I and the year before first. that. I've yeah. not picked them in first for a couple of years now. Okay. Uh, now I just FC Dallas has replaced them. I just pick them instead because I don't understand the West. Rudy. Montreal. Okay. Seventh place, Ellen. Seventh place. Yep. DC United. Okay. Nick says. Our Chicago Fire just outside of the playoffs. Um, I say the scandal ridden Dave Greeley led Columbus crew. You motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck Dave Greeley. 
Well, agreed on that one. He's a clown. I haven't been enjoying his complete and utter failure so far in this entire trying to move them to Austin. Every 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 turn where he's been able to fuck up, he's fucked up. It's been glorious. Anyway. Just like you did with the fire? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Rudy. Oh, same shit. You beat me to it. They're they've gotten rid of too much quality and not replaced it with enough quality. I so. It's just too many question marks. Greg Burhalter is a good coach and does not deserve what's happening to him this year. Nope. Um, but he, that's why he's seventh because he's better than all the shit bags beneath him. I don't know how this French guy's gonna do in Montreal. The the fact that he just sold his way right out of the draft was I was just like, okay, dude, do you even know what you're doing? Uh, nope. Know that you know what you're doing. All right, playoff time, Eastern Conference style, Ellen. Eastern Conference playoff. Sixth, sixth place. Sixth place. <laughs> NYCFC. Ooh, that's delightfully low. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, they're garbage. Their fans are garbage. Okay. Uh, their parent club is garbage. Okay. Agreed. Uh, any talent that they have is overrated. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I hope everyone breaks their ankles. Okay. Okay. So you're saying they're going to break their ankles. Okay. That's how that's going to finish in sixth. Got it. Nick says New York Red Bull. And I, I say the Chicago Fire. I fucking hate you, Greg. (laughs) Legit. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Fire are going to barely make it in and Red Bull are going to be in fifth. But no, no. Greg has to go and ruin my fucking pick. Thanks. It's not ruining. I'm just hitting the batting order. It sounds like we're fucking copying each other. Well, you weren't ready when I threw it to you first back back at the start of this. Oh, now you're going to throw it. Yeah, whatever. 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 (laughs) So now you know, you know my pick. Fire for the fire. Yeah, I think that's I, I, when I look at the East. I think there's a very clear line of DC, Montreal, New England, Philly not being good. Okay. Then there's the unknown Chicago, Columbus, Orlando. This is how I feel. Then I think the four teams left after that are where it's at. That's that's how I break it down. But that's how I can fit. I can put the fire in the playoffs. And you, like, some of you are probably like, you're full of shit, Greg. Full of shit, Rudy. <laughs> like I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, but I don't think you realize how bad some of these Eastern Conference teams could be this year. Really, the East, the, the power could be flipping this year. The top is going to be powerful. The bottom, very, very not so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fifth place, Ellen. Red Bulls. The Red Bull. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, Nick says Orlando, and I know he wanted to put them higher because he's sick in the head. Uh, I also put Orlando at fifth. I'm not happy about it. I fucking hate Jason Christ. I put Red Bull fifth. I, I wanted- can't... Seriously, I can't do that to Jesse. It's I just can't do it. I, you kind of have to. I mean, I can't put I can't put Orlando above him. What the fuck is gonna, Kaku going to do for this fucking team? Their one <laughs> fucking big signing they had Kaku? all season. Ka- yeah, Kaku, Kaku, Kaku yeah. watch that signing yes. that took like sixty four days. Yes, that one. Oh, the God. one that where where they signed like- a million children, but just one proven player i like that not proven i like them i think they got a good core and uh i am i'm they excited got rid of the, the porn stash i know i'm excited to watch them make the porn stash irrelevant that's what i want to have happen th- that's what, well, what that. you want to happen and what is going to happen are two different right, well i'm bad at predictions we all know this <laughs> <sighs> uh, um, okay uh where are we at fourth place Mm, Orlando. Just to spite you, Greg. That's honestly. Fine. That's fine. Just um, get that real constipated look on your face like you have right this place. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Nick says Atlanta in fourth. I also have Atlanta in fourth. Nick and I are thinking a lot alike. Atlanta for me as well. And because of that lack of defensive signings that's that's really going to bite on the asses here more so carmona carmona's gone i don't i don't i don't like i didn't think they could play defense last year and carmona kind of held it all together and now he's gone and they don't have a replacement for him i don't understand how their defense is supposed to work the only Um, way i can see them winning games greg is is if they're like if they're winning six to five you know high or at least they're on the higher end of the scoring spectrum yeah that's the only way they're going to do it yeah i guess i don't know i just I love Barco. Zico Barco's dope. I mean, he's going to take the ship all the way. <laughs> he's great, but he's 18, 19. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. And Al Marone will probably get sold at some point. And I'm just where my money is. I'm thinking he's going to get sold. So I don't know. I just, I just, I can't put him any higher than fourth with that garbage defense that I'm still mad about. And I, I would love for the league to start, for defense to start meaning something again, but I don't know. What you're telling me, Grandpa Jeff Lorenovitz isn't going to do good on the back no. line when he's plugged in? No. <laughs> he's probably going to break. He's going to need a new carburetor installed. <laughs> All right, third place. In third place, Toronto. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Why? Uh, I think they're going to have a really strong start because they're good. They're consistent, well coached. I think they're going to have a weird mid season collapse and then they're going to come back and uh, push themselves up to third place. All right. You're saying they're going to get bored after Champions League is over? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they're going to hit the season like in form. They're going to be like, boom. And then they're just going to be like, fuck, I'm tired of shit. And they're going to fuck some shit up. Uh, and not do too good, and then they're going to find their wind again. Okay, okay. Uh, third place, there. Nick says the sea bus. He clearly rates what they've done highly. Um, Jesse I'm, Sardes. I'm going with the Red Bull. Rudy. I got the Orlando. Jesus. Hey, they signed every fucking person they can sign. I know, I know. They they don't have they don't really have. No, Laren is a huge problem though. There's no way to sugarcoat that. No, Kyle Laren is 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 problematic. But also, was he going to work out the season? He didn't want to be there. So no, no, I know. But I mean, they just don't have a good. I mean, he wasn't scoring at the end of the season anyway. As much as. You know. Yeah, but you know who's not a great finisher, and Laren is a great finisher. You know they're left with the, the old fucking um, Miss Dwyer, Mister Sidney Larue. Uh, he's not very good. He's not a good finisher. He's like a high effort guy uh, that scores goals, and without a proven guy next to him, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm not feeling it. Uh, I still see them. So see him being there because they have too much talent not to be up high. They're going to be like the fire last year where they're going to be good and they're going to get off to a roaring start and then it's just going to flounder at the end and Jason Christ won't win his MLS Cup again. Good. Ellen, second place. Your Chicago Fire. Cause see, we're gonna sign we're gonna like stay in person, and then we're gonna get like some like hot shot fucking striker from the middle of nowhere. We're gonna have like Nico Part Deux, uh, and we're we're gonna we're gonna do really good. Nelson Rodriguez is gonna cry. Enjoy. He's gonna cry. All right. <sighs> you have unfounded and baseless hope, and it irritates me. Somebody fucking has to, Greg. Do you know how unnatural this is as a position for me? Yeah. Yeah, I know our roles are reversed this year. Yeah, this is fucking garbage. <sighs> Nick says New York City Football Club. Greg says New York City Football Club. Rudy? 
says Fuck New York right. City, New York City Football Club. Fuck all three of you. They're very <laughs> They're good. What do you want? They're good. How do you all get hit with sandwich boards this year? Patrick Vieira is a great coach. I'm not going to Yankee Stadium, so I'm good. And I could get hit with a sandwich board. I've been I'm once and it was sandwich board. <laughs> I've been to New York's uh the whatever it's called once and that was more than enough for me. New York, whatever it's, it's called. called the, it's called it's called the it's called the Kansas City Wizards <laughs> Memorial Baseball Stadium. <laughs> Close enough. Act what it's called. Rest in peace, you beautiful rainbow bastards. Mm-hmm. It's the billion dollar stadium. I know. It's the sometimes we can play soccer here stadium. <laughs> You're lucky, <laughs> or else you have to go to Hartford. <laughs> All right. Different, different state. First place, Alan, who's left for you? I don't even know. Columbus. Do you know why? Oh, you're sh- ill. You, that's why. Spite. <laughs> I want them to win out of spite. Just to make this shit as awkward as humanly fucking possible. Damn I chance. want those motherfuckers to be playing as the Columbus crew in the goddamn CONCACAF Champions League while they're fucking setting up their shit in Austin. I want to make this... So excruciatingly painful for the whole fucking league. That's what last season was supposed to be. Embarrassment. An embarrassment to this entire fucking MLS structure of shit. I don't think they're going to move anymore, but it's still a touch and go. But I want them to win out of spite. And for me... As a Chicago Fire fan and staunch anti-Ohioan, to put Columbus in number one? Staunch anti-Ohioan. Yeah. Like, that's a fuck. I think that's big of me. That's a political statement is what you're saying. It's a political statement. Okay. Uh, Nick goes with every sane person's choice. T-F-C. Greg? T-F-C. Rudy? T F C. They're gonna win the whole shebang. Uh, Ava also, I believe. Let me double check. Went with T F C. Yep. What were her Eastern Why Conference do picks? Predictions have any fucking spice? You're too logical. Mm, sorry, she didn't do the whole numbers. She just gave me her quick picks. Gotcha. Okay. Your supporter shield winners. Who's gonna win the shield? Easy. T F C okay, says T F C. I say T F C. Nick says T F C. Ellen, your choices are Columbus and whomever you pick to win the West. Minnesota. So which one of those teams is winning the shield? Minnesota. Okay. They're gonna win the shield? Yeah, they're gonna win the shield. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> He almost choked on that Columbus. fucking cookie. I can't give Columbus two good things. This cookie is for the one good thing. This cookie is for the guy that bitches about the fact that I eat on the show, like <laughs> all over the fucking internet. This cookie. Wait, there's. Yep. Well, cookie for you, dickhead. I Wait, feel like uh, that guy should be aware that I've just been eating pickles uh, this entire Eastern Conference pick. Uh, Every time I've paused, just pickles in my face. So, spoiler alert, guy, we all eat on the show. Except for Rudy, he takes showers. He used to. He's good about about that anymore. All right. Yeah, he doesn't bathe. I was eating Girl Scout cookies. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got ambushed by those little bitches at Dunkin' Donuts. Your MLS Cup. Wait, we did the shield right. Your MLS Cup winner, Rudy. Ooh. I know it's not going to be the New York Cosmos this year. <laughs> um, Difficult since they never were an MLS. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, I am going to go with... I think Atlanta is going to try to take it only because they know that they're not going to... Is that your not pick? Gonna, yeah, I'll go with Atlanta. All right. Okay. Uh, Ava says... TFC. Hang on here. I'm pretty sure I know what Nick says. 
Uh, Nick says T F C. Greg, T F C. Ellen, I rescind. I rescind. I thought that was. I thought that was Open Cup. My bad. No, oh, this is oh. MLS Cup. Okay, <laughs> my bad. T F C. Okay, Ellen, who's yeah. winning MLS Cup? This, T- this TFC dynasty bandwagon is pulling out of the station if you want to get on. I will throw myself down in front of the TFC bandwagon train and be run over and eviscerated on the tracks before I pick TFC. Uh <clears throat> Come on. Did I have Dallas in playoff running? I think I did. Go on, Dallas. I think you did. Okay. Your open cup winners. Gomez. Atlanta. Gomez says Atlanta. Uh, Nick says the Columbus crew, which breaks my heart a little bit. Um, Let's see here. Ava forgot the open cup. I am saying Real Salt Lake. Ellen? Detroit City. Christ almighty. I hope they lose in the fucking first round. They get crushed by like one of those. uh, Let's see. Who could they lose to? (laughs) The New Jersey Um, Greeks or whatever. Yes. Yes. Like, uh, yeah, the New Jersey Greeks. That would be perfect. I'm sorry you don't like fun, Greg. I'm a jerk. I like sustainable soccer clubs. Um, of all of the soccer clubs to pick on, they're on the, that tier. They're the super. Po- they're just very hipster FC right now. That's all. They're all incredibly nice people. I'm sure they are. This is not about the supporters. This is me being a dick. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't be. I'm like, oh, don't worry about. I said, don't worry about it. All right, first coach bitten. Rudy. Sorry, Jim Curtin. You're gone. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Nick says the fat, sweaty man, Adrian Heath. Greg says the fat, sweaty man, Adrian Heath. <laughs> this is Alan's shield winning side that we're just pillorying here. Alan, who's the first coach to get fired? Uh, the fat, sweaty man, Adrian Heath. They get a better coach. That's how they win the fucking shield. Oh, God. Uh, that is not. That's not how that works. You need points all over. You know, you're going to stick with that. You can go with Adrian Heath. Yeah, no, I'm going to go with Adrian Heath. And they're gonna get, he's going to get bit in like two games. Two games. Okay. They're going to be like, you're too fat and too sweaty. All right. Your wooden spoon winner, the pre court wooden spoon, Rudolfo. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, Philly. Place. Sorry, Philly. You get you get the Columbus Crew Award. All right. Ava says Minnesota United. <laughs> Perfect. What does Nick say? Nick, Nick's wooden spoon winner is the New England Revolution. That's, That's a good, good pick. Good choice. Um, my. My wooden spoon winner is the Philadelphia Union. Ellen, which one of your last place teams? Revs all fucking day. Over San Jose? Wow. Okay. Well, mm, yeah, just because East is more competitive, uh, San Jose is going to have more opportunity to pick up points. So, because their league or their conference is shit, New England is just gonna. True. They're gonna get like six points this year. Okay, I can I can live with that. Okay, well, really, I really now that I know that there's someone who complains about you eating on the podcast, I really want to eat this pickle on mic as loud it's, as I possibly can. It's not good. But I'm rec- pretty sure that's some like niche fetish shit that we don't need to tap yeah. into. <laughs> You're probably right. I I think the 
there's this guy listened to one show and I happened to like had not eaten and had it because I don't usually eat on the show. <laughs> and I was eating and uh this guy's been all over the internet. I don't even know who he is, but I've seen the comment in like three different places. And I'm like, that has to be the same fucking guy. What's his name? Who is it? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't pay attention What's to his this name. Call him out. Call him out. I would if I had it. I don't search the fucking internet. Call this guy out if you want. I don't, I don't want to search the internet. God. Um, fuck. I know. You say one thing on the internet, and the next thing you know, people are fucking piling on you about eating on shows or not liking wrestlers. Or making fun of Adrian Heath. <laughs> I mean, fun. I also want to uh, just clarify that fat is not a pejorative. Uh, He's just all. a big, he's a big dude. He's just a large, sweaty man. He's a fat, sweaty man. I'm not, it's fine that he's like, a big guy. It's, it's not I'm an issue. I'm also a fat, sweaty person. Like, he, it's fine. It's just who he is. If he's not sweating on the sidelines, I feel bad for him. Because that's his whole shtick. Like, he's just a big, <laughs> sweaty guy on the sidelines. It's not taking a shot at his weight. He can, He's fine. He's just like a real fucking lubed up rhinoceros. <laughs> All right. Unreal. Isn't that Siggy Schmidt? No, he's a hot air balloon. He's a hot air balloon. Okay. He's got very delicate ankles. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we made a lot of predictions tonight that are almost assuredly wrong. Um, we got a lot of mileage out of this show per usual. Um, I don't know. We have much else to talk about. We'll be back for the start of the fire season we'll probably be back next week to preview game one and review the mls week one because this league cannot help but just start with an unbalanced schedule immediately no they unbalanced it on purpose so colorado could put up a fight remember yeah so the colorado <laughs> could could be eliminated from Concacaf champions league tonight fii their head coach anthony hudson said this was a preseason game for us <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, Anthony Hudson, don't you dare respect CONCACAF Champions League, you asshole. You have to get steamrolled for life for that kind of shit. This is CCL, baby. This is the premier continental championship. Premier. This is, this is where all the filth gets filtered or non-filtered. There was a blatant handball by Motagua just now. Absolute is, filth. Yeah, this is have pure unfiltered filth. This is the the fucking hazy IPA of filths. Yeah, this is yeah. the unfiltered sake of everything. Look, look. Yeah. If you had, if you had any, if you had anything going for you, you guys would at least put a goal past them. Couldn't even do that. No pride, Rapids. No pride. If I was one of their fans and they said that, I would be like, "You're a jerk." We qualified for this on the back of the 2016 season, and I realize it's two years later, but whatever. You need to do better. That's not okay. It's not an okay attitude. Uh, I hope I hope he gets excoriated on the internet for this garbage tomorrow. I hope someone shits in his pillow. All right, and we're done. <laughs> uh, for Rudy. What? For Alan. Yep. <laughs> I'm great. Talk to you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>